This video is. Did you know that was possible back then? Yo, what's up, Silent Scope? So yeah. let me tell you about this, all right? So you know how back in the day, there was no social media. There was, it's very hard to transfer information, right? There's like no YouTube or like, you know, nobody really used YouTube like that. It's really based off like, you know, he said, she said. So, you know, people would always put throughout rumors. You know how like there's like rumors were a very popular thing back in the day. Like, oh, that's impossible. This is broken. That's unblockable. So the rumor was Chun Li Super is unparryable. What is up, everybody? This is Justin Wong, and we have a very fun video. The Score Esports made a video of me about the Daigo Parry, the Evo Moment 37, and pretty much talking about why am I letting everybody Daigo Parry me in 2022? So if you guys want to see me reacting to this awesome video that Score Esports made about me, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, and let's get into the video. What's up, Rotron? How you doing, man? Let me watch this video. Esports highlights last forever. People always want to celebrate the greatest plays of all time. But that also means that they're always going to be there to remind the people involved of their past. So, by the way, if you guys haven't seen this video yet, this video is about Evil Moment 37 and I guess like everybody parrying my sh in 2022. For better or for worse. The Being power needle. Being gets shared over and over again can be one of the things that could make a player famous. Here he comes once again. The first base is a trend. He's gonna hit the Yeah, I did an interview with these guys. It was pretty fun. It was a fun inter it, it was a very fun interview. What is going on right now? What's up, Cody P? Even if that moment is uncharacteristic or a one-off or even something they'd later Ooh, get revenge. Okay, Wolf Crone. Hmm. Let's go. K Brad. What's up, Miss CC2121? But for North American. Oh, you see that stick, bro? Oh, you see that stick? But for Ooh, that's a nice ass stick. Look at that. Oh, I still got that, though. North American fighting game master Justin Wong. The past is all around him all the time. Oh, they they they, they chose the Mugen version of A3 to show? The past is all around him. Oh all my the god. Time. And it's not always good. Renowned for his game knowledge, rock solid fundamentals, and never say die attitude, Justin won championships in multiple titles and built a legacy that'll last as long as competitive fighting games will. There's just one Let's go. little problem. The biggest clip in the fighting game community, and maybe in competitive gaming history, shows Justin Wong Ugh. getting absolutely destroyed. Oh, destroyed! God. A lot has happened since Justin lost that round, but even after he grew up- Damn, they got me drinking a beer? <laughs> That's actually that's actually sick. Kid and even became a content creator. That one moment has always followed him. Oh, he got it. You think he got it, bro? You think he Daigo? You ain't Daigo. You ain't Daigo. Oh, he's Daigo. He's Daigo. He's Daigo. No. And why is he spending his time getting parried by randos online with names like Oroville Redenbacher? I know you want to get famous, bro. Come I know on. you want to get famous. I like how my YouTube videos actually got on the Score Esports. Like it's actually crazy that people really i guess it made us it made a big statement okay so the justin wong of today is pretty different from the teenager who was grinding marvel versus capcom 2 in new york Arc first of all hold up you see that different from the teenager who was grinding why do why why is this whoever this is why is he flicking the joystick that's definitely not me but you see how he let go the joystick bro that's not how you that's not how you use a joystick marvel look at that what is he doing? Wong of today is pretty different from the teenager who was grinding. Look, what is he doing? <laughs> Yo, A4 Tez, thank you so much for a tier one, man. I appreciate that. New York arcades in the early 2000s. I miss Chinatown Fair. He's a I rewatched Cowboy Bebop anime. You probably don't want my opinions, but the anime's got <laughs> people got so upset at this. So Air upset. The kind of tier list maestro. Cinnamon Toast Crunch. I actually think it's whack. I it is whack. It's overrated. It's still overrated. You guys are tripping on the internet. It's maybe still trash. For popping the sickest barrel roll in fighting game history. Or maybe you know him because of the whole Evo Moment 37 thing. We'll get to that in a moment. And I always tell people that I'm the Ken player. Bro, I'd I be telling people I'm the Ken player if they don't know. Most people probably think of Justin in a pretty positive light these days. But that wasn't always the case. Justin has a long and storied career, and it began when he was- Bro, which tournament was this? I'm guessing this is Marvel Justin 3. This has to be Marvel 3, right? 
has a long and storied career, and it began when he was basically a kid genius for fighting games. This is this picture, like you said, August twelfth, two thousand and two, bro. I, I, you know where that belt, that belt, bro. You see that belt? Triforce Game Master has my belt. I want that belt back. I never age. I age. Literally starts with the words, "Let's go, Justin." Damn, it's a lot of parries in this video. Ah! It's a. I was mashing, bro. You see, you saw, you see, you see me mash as a kid. I was mashing. The D shim. Daigo's full parry of Justin's ill-fated Chun Li super art in Third Strike was probably the first truly viral esports clip. And remember, it went. Damn, into 11 million. Sure, the internet existed, but Evo didn't blast out this clip on TikTok and Instagram. Instead, it was shared countless times on forums by content aggregators like Ebombs World. CRT is the best way to play fighting games, though. And it went viral because it is legitimately an insane play. It's really crazy that the first hit you have to do before the flash. Oh my god, why is it before the flash? Why is it before but the listen, flash? I promise this video isn't just a deep dive into Evo Moment 37. Did you know that was possible back then? Yo, what's up, Scope? So let me tell you about this, all right? So you know how back in the day, there was no social media. There was, it's very hard to transfer information, right? There's like no YouTube or like, you know, nobody really used YouTube like that. It's really based off like, you know, he said, she said. So people would always put throw out rumors. You know how like there's like rumors were a very popular thing back in the day. Like, oh, that's impossible. This is broken. That's unblockable. So the rumor was Chun Li Super is unparryable. Right. Even though if you if you broke it down as a from as a science standpoint, it, it is obviously parryable. But because nobody can do it, right, because nobody can do it, everyone just say, no, nah, it's, it's unparryable. It's it's like a guarantee win, a win move. Right. So that's that's the conception of Chung Lee's SA2 back in the day. He experienced that moment over and over again. <laughs> oh, uh oh, this, this is a familiar stage. This is very familiar. This is like my favorite edit. This one right here is so good. Let's go, Justin! Oh, shit. No! Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Now, to be fair, even right after it happened in 2004, Justin this was is my favorite one. crushed by this moment. You know, going through the tournament, uh, you know, oh, I, it's me. I fought a lot of Japanese players, and, you know, I'm going through them one by one, and, you know, it, it, it was feeling good. I felt like I had a lot of momentum, right? I did and have a lot of momentum. Daigo just stopped that with the parry. And just two hours after getting hit, yeah, look the at that legendary parry Sick in game history, artwork. Justin walked over to the Marvel 2 tournament and, and who was in this Marvel 2 tournament? Yeah, so me and Executioner were like the only like East Coast players in this top eight. Absolutely destroyed the competition. But Justin wasn't just a literal punching bag in moment 37. He was also kind of hated back then for being so good at fighting games. I was, he was hated. The enemy. He was the bad guy. Here we go. Right? Um, people didn't like him. Well, I mean, they liked him, but he was always the People didn't like me. Okay, James Chen. Don't sugarcoat it. West Coast players hated me because I was born in the East Coast. Okay? This is a true fact. West Coast players back in the day did, didn't even know me. They didn't even know anything about me but they're like oh no nah, i don't like justin i don't like him because he's from the east coast the guy that you know west coast wanted to see <clears> lose <throat> and all this like he was the guy that you wanted to see lose at mvc2 because he kept winning right you always root for the underdog justin was the east coast golden boy so his rivals on the west coast were talking a lot of trash all They're day every day saying oh you're just a marvel player yeah i'm a mar I'm a, I, I was a marvel scrub I, I would say i started branching out on other games because i wanted to prove them wrong that i can play like yeah other i would say east coast did dominate versus games for a long time before i came on the scene and then once i came on the scene i, I would say like i kind of took over a lot of like the other games that west coast used to dominate in uh just because like i, I just traveled everywhere i got really good at fighting games is there anyone you would like to face again in the future for fun? John Choi in CVS2. Like offline CVS2, I would love to play him because he's so fun to play. Not just Mars Capcom 2. 
It's probably not fair to say that Justin was widely hated or something, but especially in Marvel 2, people didn't love his defensive turtle style and how willing he was to play for time. Everyone knows me as a lame player. Oh my god, this is an you know, old like, ass video. By 2004, he was facing plenty. Bro, you see that moss stick? Oh, look at that, look at that. It's true. I love playing. What's up, Turb Tupperware? You see that? That's how, that's what we had to bring. That's the, that's the lug, that's the big ass controller we had to lug around, bro. Like it, you imagine that compared to, you guys are lucky now with the sticks that you have now. But that was the, that was the weapon of choice back in the day. Same clips were huge on Twitter and they just go to show how iconic Evo Moment 37 is and just how much the public perception of Justin. Yeah, a lot, a lot of people's moment, a lot of people's reason of picking up Third Strike or fighting game is because of Moment 37. But were you salty? It happened in person? No, I don't think I was salty in person. I was like, damn, that was godlike. Like, I, you know, I couldn't believe it. But I wasn't salty. I was already like happy that I got that far in a tournament because according to West Coast, I'm a Marvel scrub. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I wasn't mad. So like me already like outplacing all the West Coast players in third strike was already like, ha, you suck guys. Right, and I got top eight in CVS two, and I got top eight in ST beating Mike Watson to qualify for top eight. I mean, can I be mad? And while Evo Moment 37 probably wasn't the only reason that fighting games survived the tough times, it was a huge help. It revolutionized fighting games in general because when that happened, everyone started playing fighting games more seriously again, especially Third Strike, because Third Strike was definitely a dying game. And it is, it was, yeah, it was dying. Happened. And that's why- We still have killers, they just don't compete. I mean, whose fault is that? <clears throat> if you have killers and they don't compete, how are people supposed to know them, right? Clearly, it you can't, you, you can't like say that like, oh, like, you know, we don't get respect. I mean, it's not even no respect, it's just, People just don't know you guys because, like you said, you you they don't compete. So how are we supposed to know? Justin keeps running into these randos online. They're inspired by esports' greatest moment to make him relive his tragedy. Oh, you ain't Daigo. Oh, What's up, he anime he junkie? He's Daigo. He's Daigo. No. <sighs> this guy. You know, the crazy part is, like, why did he had to finish the the, the combo though? Like, you know what I mean? He could have just done heavy DP and it would have killed. But he said, nah, let me do the Daigo punish. <laughs> Wanted to relive history, right? It's all worth it. Not only because the moment gave the fighting game community something truly special in the past, but also because it can keep doing that. It turned out that when a huge portion of the world saw how awesome fighting games were, there was another game and a new generation. Bro, they chose World Cyber Fire. Games. That couldn't have happened without Third Strike. Without the moment, and without Justin, I know a lot of people. Oh, how s without third strike, without the moment, and without. Bro, you see how skinny I was, bro. This is when I. This is this is when I meet me on the the reality show, right? And yeah, this is why I, I I was I was like 160 pounds here, so I I, I lost mad weight for for this show. I look, I don't look to say I have a rounder face now. But there's so many players out there that a lot of people just never heard of or don't know or just never even paid attention about. And that's kind of like my goal is it to is my goal. Like showcase that there are other like really great fighting game players out there besides like the ones that you probably know from Google, right? Because in some small weird way, we get to be a part of that moment. We might not be Daigo. We get to relive that feeling of seeing that incredible clip for the first time. It cuts to the very essence of what fighting games are all about. And as long as there are people out there willing to be tested, Justin is probably gonna keep sacrificing himself. Sacrificing himself. Like, why am I so scared of that, right? <laughs> oh my God, no. Well, oh, okay, that doesn't count. Yeah, no, that, that, that still count. don't count my book. Thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the YouTube videos and everything like that. It's been a, a very fun ride just playing all these games. So if you guys please can, make sure you guys hit the like, share, subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment below on what type of videos you want me to make. And other than that, stay safe, stay healthy, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.